All right, here with Maury head football coach Doreen McCain. His Commodores win it tonight 40-14 to of the Church and Truckers to move their record to 4-1 on the season. Coach, defending state champs in Class 5, and you're headed to the playoffs tonight. Tell me about the, I guess from about the eight-minute mark of the third quarter on, you guys really dominated this game, and you had moments of pulling away, but really you got that big stop on fourth down, and then your offense was workmanlike the rest of the night. Yeah, uh, just credit, credit to the coaches uh, for the game plan. They stuck to the game plan. Um, did a good job of coming up with it. And sticking to it, coaching the, guy, coaching the guys up, got to have time, made some adjustments. Um, and you just got to talk about ball players, guys making plays. Mm -hmm. O-line blocking up front, Mario making plays, uh, Dunlop making plays, EJ made some throws. Um, young kid, um, um, Vontae Floyd, uh, made a couple plays here and there. So total team effort. Um, I don't think many guys, many people expected us to be uh, who we were with all those guys leaving, but we got a pretty good young group. Uh, we're excited about it, so uh, the fact that these guys get the playoffs, we got 90% of the team coming back next year, so um, it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling for those guys, and, and they get a, they get a feel for what it's like. Yeah, Floyd's a freshman, has got a bright future, a lot of underclassmen contributing for you, both sides of the ball. I thought especially early you converted third downs very effectively, both with the run in the pass and using two quarterbacks, and Eric E.J. Gibson is back for you, and Marion Granger, who's a natural talent wide receiver. He plays some quarterback, he runs the ball for you. What were you seeing on the third downs? Was it just your screen game? Was it something defensively? What kind of worked for you to get it going to finish those drives? Uh, just the plan, just just uh, just the plan of what we had. Uh, we had a plan going into the game. Uh, we knew what we wanted to call on certain downs, what we wanted to call in certain situations, and it was just sticking to it. Mm -hmm. um, my coach is constantly in my ear. Uh, my offensive staff, they're constantly in my ear letting me know what's here, what's there, what we can still run. So, I mean, credit to those guys for staying steady in my ear, um, letting me know uh, what's there and just sticking to the game plan. You graduate so much talent from the team that went undefeated and won the championship in 2019 with Keandre Lambert and Ty Granger, just on Peel, C.J. Beasley, and I think People forget Omarion Granger contributed both ways, but got overshadowed by those guys at times. Now using him in such a variety of ways, like a jack of all trades. What have you seen from him, both leadership wise and his just production on the field? Uh, I mean, he stepped up to the plate. You know, obviously, had a bigger role um, um, than he was on that team. And you just talk about um, just the type of role that he had to take on with not only the seniors that left, uh, but we got it. We got you know had a kid to go down to Florida and, and, and play ball down there. Um, Paul, which is one of our leaders. Um, so you just you, you you lose a lot of leadership plus uh, production. He's done a good job of stepping up, playing that role, um, taking on a bigger role. I think he understood that. I think he knew his time was going to come, even when that class was was here. So he took it on daily, even when they were here. So it's no surprise that he was ready for the moment when it counted. And you're getting, I think, especially in the second half, 11 guys, all the hats are getting to the football. But, you know, it's not a one-man show. Defensively, I thought, in particular, Jackson Lott and uh, Nathaniel Bougain-Knox were in on a lot of crucial stops against the run game because you made them one-dimensional. They didn't complete a pass all night. And that's, and that's, and that's Coach, Coach Brea. That's, that's him. Um, he's very, very, I think, pretty much the same guy, very, uh, very energetic, very, um, very adamant about our craft. And he just has his guys prepared. He coaches the linebackers. He takes pride in it. You know, anybody that knows him, he takes pride in his LB. So that's, you know, you see Jackson and, and Booger making those plays. Um, Booger's making, been making those all year. Um, and he's another good young talent. He's a 23 kid. So a lot of good young talent um, that stepped up to the plate. Um, and, and like I said, they'll get this playoff experience um, and, and roll it this year. Let's go with it. Yeah. Last question. I mean, now you're in the next phase of the season. You kind of have kind of three phases of this year. It's abbreviated. It's not the marathon. It's the sprint. And after the late Taylor loss, some wondered if you guys would get it being so young, but you're here. And I think people feel like regardless of seed, and you might as well, these guys have been there before and these young kids might not know any better, so you're going to be a dangerous out. Give me kind of your assessment because I don't know if it matters who you play if you guys execute what you're supposed to do. I think that's what this group takes on. I think, like you said, uh, the group that has been here, the guys that have, have been here, we know it's, it's never the opponent. Um, we just want in. But no matter the seed, whether we're one or eight, doesn't matter. We just want in. We're one and four this year. <laughs> we're one and four this year, but I mean, yeah. in normal times. Right, so we right, don't right. care where we're at. We just want in. Um, and like you said, just young guys, um, you know, they're, they're starting to say, oh, oh, man, they're starting to get it. They're starting to get it. So with the mix of guys who've been here, plus all those, that, that young talent mixing together, um, it should be a special thing. So uh, we're going to go as far as these guys These guys want to go. They got to put in a mental focus, and we'll see what happens. We'll get our buddy Daryl another ring. It's Doreen McCain, the Commodores, get a win tonight. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Stay safe. Thanks, man.